Hey guys, guess what? The potatoes are calling me to come check them out. Can you believe this? Food actually calls you to come look at them. So guess what we're going to do today, guys? We're going to check out the greenhouse indoors and check out those potatoes that are calling us. Let's go. <laughs> we're going to check out my greenhouse indoors and we're going to check out those potatoes that's been calling me. That's crazy. So let's go. So, okay, guys, today we are doing the greenhouse tour again, and also the potatoes have been calling us. Why? Because there they are. Look how big they got after three days, guys. Count them. One, two, three. Three days. Look. All right, guys, so like I was saying, the potatoes have grown after three days. I'm so excited. Look at this. Now, this is a seven-pound bag. And let me see if I can turn it around ah, for you guys to see. It's a seven-pound bag. It says it somewhere. There we go. Can you guys see that says seven pounds? I mean, seven gallons. Seven-gallon bag. All right, guys? So that is a seven-gallon bag. And what you want to do with potatoes, you want to put some soil in the bottom. You uh, put your potatoes in. You, as the potatoes grow, you put more soil. As it grows, you put more soil. So I'm not going to put any more soil in this. I'm just going to let them grow where they need to grow. I want them this small because I can be able to store them because I live in an apartment. So you have to be mindful of what you're um, um, growing so you can store it properly. Okay, guys? So I don't want medium-sized potatoes, and I don't want big-sized potatoes. I want small potatoes so I can store them easier. All right? So, yes, those potatoes are looking Marvelous, marvelous. But let's still take a look around the rest in the greenhouse here. All right. So the what are these? The sweet million. No, these are the fresh orange bite uh, peppers. They are growing beautifully. We are going to be uh, repotting her maybe tomorrow. And this is the Black Beauty squash. I mean, I'm sorry, Black Beauty eggplant. And she is a beaut, isn't she? She's gorgeous. All right. So it looks like my lemon plant is doing very well. Look at these cantaloupes, guys. Now we figured out what this was in this. Remember, it had nothing in it about a couple of days ago, and they were still growing up, and I still couldn't figure it out. Well, did a little research, and these are cantaloupes. Look how amazing these are. So just to show you, it goes to show you that you can grow food in your greenhouse, indoors. Never let anybody tell you you cannot do something unless you've tried it yourself. All right? So that's a tip for you. All right? Nothing looks laggy. Everything looks good. Look at the orange plant we have. Isn't she gorgeous? Nothing looks laggy. Look at those beautiful collard greens, gorgeous. And let me tell you, by the way, these things are beautiful. They taste good. Oh, my goodness, I sauteed them up. They were so good. A banana. So I'm going to order me another greenhouse, but a smaller one, because I need to keep my tropical plants in a uh, heat, well, a humid uh, conditions. And like with this greenhouse, we we'll have to keep the fans on for the other plants. Um, no, even though they are growing, but I mean, they could do a lot better. So they definitely could do a lot better. Once I put them in another greenhouse, when I get it, they'd be doing a lot better. And I'll show you guys that. Look at my lemon. She's gorgeous. Remember, she didn't have anything. All right, guys. So now we are like our broccoli is growing really good. And then down here is our kale. So I said I was going to just let that die off and then cut it back and then let it start all over again. Now, a little dilemma with my llama beans and my, because I was moving around so much, as you can see, one's broken here, well, it's bent there, broken there and there. It's the only one that's surviving so far. I didn't break or anything, so it's okay. Let's start all over again. As you can see, they still group, and these are the bean poles, all right? And right here are the llama beans. They're still growing nicely, so I do like that. Now, I did break one of the llama bing. She's right here, as you guys can see. So, I just stuck her back in there to see if she'll grow or anything, but I doubt it. So, yeah, we'll start over with the llama bing, but my new one is growing right there. 
as you can see. So I'm happy for that fourth one that did come up. All right, so you gotta be, I had to be careful with this one here. So I might have to repot them and put them somewhere else. Because when I move about in here, as you can see, there's really no space, especially when I have to go back there. So yeah, we'll, we're gonna do something else. But as you guys can see, look at that. You see my babies? Look at all that fruit. Look at that. You see more of the fruit? She's just growing beautifully. And I cut her back some too. Right, strawberry patch store looking good. As you as you know before, like I said, I wait for the stem itself to darken up and then I'll cut it. So for example, like this here. This one looks like dry right here and browner. So I will cut that back. Alright. Alright, guys. And then we have another second, like I was talking about, the second um porch tomato. Um, it's not bearing any fruit right now, but it definitely is starting to bear some of its flowers, which is really nice to see. All right. And this is my lovely baby here. She definitely got taller. She's reaching over the top of the trellis now. I made this trellis from uh, um, some Dollar Tree trellises that they have. I just connected two of them and made that like that. And I figured it'd be good in here because it's inside and there's no wind really trying to blow it over. But that's what my baby looks like. Side. And my baby is bearing two fruits now. So I'm excited for that. So let me show you guys. If I can get her down in there for you. You see that one? She's beautiful. I'm so excited for her. And, <coughs> excuse me guys. Yo, uh, let's see if we can get you, there you go, number two. So I'm so excited for that. And then as you see, let me see if I can turn her around. You can see, where am I at? Okay, you can start to see baby ones in there. So I'm so excited for that, guys. Really excited for that. And then this is my chocolate sprinkle. She's still bearing the flowers, but no fruit yet. So we will see how she does. And that is the chocolate sprinkle uh, cherry tomato. So we'll see how she does. And I think she's another pollinating, um, self-pollinating. I'm not certain, but yeah. That's what she does. I see a few gnats in here, so I'm going to be spraying my peppermint spray and putting down some cinnamon, and I'll show you guys how to do that. That is my banana pepper. She's looking marvelous. That's another lemon I'm growing from seed from the store, from like ShopRite. It's a local grocery store, if you guys don't know what that is. This is some cabbage I planted. Well, I pot it up, so we're going to see how this does. Look at those beautiful onions, guys. They grew up marvelously from the last time you guys seen them. Yeah, guys. We had to put them down. Um, I wanted to peel more off. Like, cut the more off here. So, that's what I'm going to do here. All right, remember the ones we have. We're going to start these over. You always have to try, try, try again until you get it right for yourself. Um, my sweet mint. Um, maybe I might have to move her down because the peppermint itself is doing marvelous. Look at that. Gorgeous. Look how she's beautiful under there. And that is the uh, peppermint. Spearmint, I meant. Right? I got her all the way down there. But I, then I had the sweet mint all the way up here. So I think I'm going to have to move her because she's dying back a little bit. I think she doesn't need to be up this high. She could shade a little bit. So I think I'm going to do that with the other one. So I think that should be fine. Still not certain what this is yet, guys. But it's still hanging in there. It's definitely hanging in there. As you guys can see, some of it needs to be not watered but sprinkled. Okay? Definitely not watered. So, this is my lovely garden. Yeah. Okay, so let me do a really quick thing for you guys. We're just going to spray down some, um, spray this, tuck down with some peppermint oil water that I always put together. It's just peppermint oil water. It does not do anything for the plants. Kill your plants from it, but it will help take those buds out. All right? 
And then you use these sticky traps here. They work awesome. They work awesome. And I think I've seen somebody in somebody's video that they actually had like these big ones that you could just put in your uh, greenhouse. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Whew. I like this. It has, doesn't kill your plants, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Now, what I noticed with the lettuces, when you spray in this, don't spray it on the lettuce, spray it in the soil. Okay, and I even spray my onions. I spray everything. And also your peppermint. Try to spray it in the soil. And we're just doing the strawberries like that. And as I'm spraying, I definitely can see. It does not kill your plants. As you can see, this is what I've been doing. A few videos before, you can see this is what I do. I spray my whole plants down, put some of it in the pot, get them bugs out of there, honey. We don't want that. The little gnats is crazy. Yeah. They yeah, try to take over your whole life. I think that's what was going on with that situation. Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. Each and every time with your plants. So you'll know what to look forward to. Sweet potatoes looking marvelous. Spray. I even do my banana plants. But like I said, I'm going to move my citrus plants into more of a humidity. Humid, uh, humidity, humidity, uh, humid uh, environment, and the second um, grow tent just for the citrus plants to grow beautiful, have good leaves, and keep warm like they do, like they want to. So that's what I'm going to do. You have to listen to your plants. They say they want to stay warm and all that. You better keep them staying warm and all that. All right, some cinema. Oh Lord, how mercy, child. Got to rush from that stuff. But listen, this is that, uh, you see that bug all over in my hand? So this is that cinnamon, right? So we're just going to sprinkle one more on the, now the bugs are trying to leave the area because they said, oh no, the crazy lady, she done put the, she done, and this doesn't kill it either, guys. See that? It doesn't kill it. Just sprinkle it, honey. Make sure you try not to get any on the leaves. And that's all I do. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, y'all might like, like it. I don't like the smell either, but I don't want you with my food. <laughs> so that's all I do, guys. <sighs> all right, so that's all I'm going to do. So I'm just showing you what I did. Spray some peppermint, water spray, and also I put some cinnamon in there. And those flies go flying to the top, and they get into those sticky traps over there. Loving it. Awesome. As you guys can see, you too can grow food. All right? All right, guys, so this is the Jersey Girl Indoor Gardening. Uh, so we are going to leave you with that. And hopefully you guys got some great tips on everything. And also, let's grow together so we can eat together.